So, uh, hi internet. Basically, this is a quick tutorial, quick video if, if anyone finds it um, useful out there. Basically, uh, a friend of mine just bought the Power Edge, Dell Power Edge 620, T620. Um, this has been driving me insane for the past 45 minutes. I can't believe I am a IT professional and I haven't managed to do this before. So basically, as the title suggests, how do you boot this sucker from USB? Um, I'm used to Dell. Uh, no, sorry, I'm used to uh, HP ProLiance and straight off the bat, uh, F11, F, F12, Escape, uh, you get the boot options and you can boot straight off USB and I stuck it, I stuck this USB key in the back, uh, I stuck it in the front, I've had it everywhere, I, I actually, I've actually put it inside at the moment because that was my last um, train of thought, if, I'll just quickly uh, get some focus on that. So there's my USB stick on the inside, on the internal uh, USB. I'm actually going to reinstall uh, ESX onto this USB stick. So um, just give me a little bit more disk space. Not a lot, but every, every sort of gigabyte counts, I suppose. Uh, but anyway, back to the point. Now, this is going to be a bit tricky because I've, I've actually installed the operating system. Uh, so I'm just going to quickly reboot this. Uh, and that pops the CD tray. Um, yeah, I should have brought some CD media with me, but I didn't. Luckily, I carry around this sort of stuff on USB sticks, so that's quite cool. Um, but anyway, when you turn this server on, certainly with this new 620, um, you don't get the option to boot from USB. You go through the BIOS, you have a look everywhere, and it just doesn't appear. Um, you get all sorts of different options. So you can boot it from PXE, you can boot it from CD, uh, you know, the hard disk, everything like that. But it's actually... It's quite a secret little hidden menu that I found. Um, just let this go through the post, by the way, while I uh, attempt this shaky recording. But yeah, it goes through... Um, it's, it's, to me, it's a bit sneaky. I don't know why Dell really didn't put the option to boot from USB straight in there. I can understand that they didn't put it in the BIOS settings originally because, hey, at the amount of times I've left a USB stick in a server that's been in a server farm somewhere on a remote site and gone, ah, crap, and then had to go there, remove the USB stick, etc. Um, all I've done here, by the way, is just pushed F11. Uh, you'll see there entering BIOS Boot Manager. Uh, I just want to show you guys where the hidden feature is to boot off USB because if you're like me and you're stupid and you haven't brought the DVD media with you, uh, this will come in handy. But anyway, so go through the usual posts and you get the following menu, uh, hopefully. By the way, th these servers, I cannot recommend them enough. Uh, I know I've said this before, but it's a great build, absolutely fantastic, really clean. Dell have really stepped their game up with their servers, I think. Um, some bits are a bit flimsy, like the plastic here that covers the CPU and the memory. It's a bit loose, you can't really see it on the video, but... Yeah, hey, who cares, you know, as long as you get the airflow, no one's going to go inside the case apart from, you know, me or maybe someone else fitting some extra memory. Um, you know, you, you can deal with this type of thing. For £1,800 delivered, I don't know what that is US. Uh, in fact, I've got no idea what that is in US. I would imagine it's about, I don't know, $3,500. I don't know, I'll have to check xe.com or something. But anyway, uh, hit F11 on the boots so you can either straight out of the box put, put the power in let it configure itself uh, and then when you get to the boot screen hit F11 or I've already installed ESX so uh, I'm going to do this the hard way so you get this Dell boot manager after hitting F11 now here's the tricky well not the tricky bit I mean please leave a comment if you've found this before or if this is usual with Dell servers but it just seems a bit crazy that it's not on some sort of menu to boot from USB anyway you go down to uh, boot BIOS menu, and that takes it out of this little uh, GUI, and then it scans for whatever devices is plugged in, and then you get this. Now, as you can see, that is what you get when you hit F12, I think it is, or F10, one of, one of the options anyway, to get the menu up just from off the bat when you boot. You get the normal, you get the uh, DVD drive, the hard disk drive, the C drive, or obviously the, um, the NIC. Now, if you go to hard drive, it pulls up another little menu. Because obviously there's nothing on this. It's just built RAID 5 straight from the factory. I've taken it in. I didn't even think to even go to the hard disk. And I found this completely by accident. So you might not be able to see that. I'll try and slot in. But there you go. Look, slot 4. Uh, and underneath that, internal USB. And then you just hit enter. 
I'm not going to do that because obviously I need to start cracking on getting this ESX built uh, so I can start test demoing some systems. But I hope you find that helpful. Um, okay, see you later.